David, may I ask uh, Bill Robinson a question, please? Sure. Hi, Bill. Uh, really interested in your data about mast cells. Could you please comment on the possible interactions between the mast cells, the observations that you've made, and possible uh, interactions between them and the macrophages? Perhaps the mast cells are interacting with the macrophages, altering their biology. Could you comment on that, please? Yeah, I mean, I think that, um, first of all, mast cells are not um, rare in OA tissues, I mean, you don't have to scan the slide to find them. You turn on a power, high power field and there'll be mast cells under you. When we do single cell RNA-seq, it's about 3% of cells that make it out that are live mast cells. I think that they're probably more like five or 7% uh, and that we're killing a few and when we, when we do the, the digestion to get the cells out of the synovium. So they are, um, there we show in our in that paper that I cited, um, you know, they're actively degranulating in the synovium. Others have public, you know, we see correlations and others have described correlations of various mast cell release factors like tryptase with uh, OA pain. Uh, we show that they, you know, degrade proteoglycans and activate chondrocyte apoptosis. Um, you know, I think they're definitely interacting with other multiple other cells, everything from neuronal input and neuropeptides to, um, you know, mast cells like every immune cell, you know, they integrate different signals and frequently it takes more than one signal to activate you as an immune cell. And so they're basically um, taking in signals from all these other mediators, whether they're damps and neuronal inputs and chemokines, and that's activating the mast cell to be kind of chronically activated. So, and mast cells are very different than many other cells. They, they constantly recharge their grain. It's not like a neutrophil netting where it's a one shot deal and it's, you're done. Mast cells recharge their granules and can degranulate and then can form the membrane back up, re, make their, you know, synthesize their granules again and re degranulate. So mast cells are resident cells for life in a tissue. And, and I think, you know, our data suggests that they're, you know, I always thought of mast cells as like all or nothing, like you anaphylax or you don't. But I think there's these states of kind of chronic low-grade activation where they're kind of degranulating. It's the same thing for complement. I used to think of complement as all or none. You either activated complement and you lysed the cell. Um, but our data for complement in OA is the same thing. It's just this low-grade level of activation. It's not fully activated, blowing away all the chondrocytes and the synoviocytes. It's sublytically forming and causing inflammation that way. And I think mast cells are degranulating the same type of way. And those are obviously all innate immune pathways which are different. They're interrelated with adaptive immune ones, but they're, you know, an arm of the immune system, obviously. And I think it'd be great to see more drugs that target those pathways being characterized in, in our trials in a way. Another, another part of this, David, if I may, another part of this inflammation, so when we're just talking local and synovial inflammation, I, I still think of synovitis as likely differing along the 30, 40 year course of disease that the drivers may well differ from that first meniscal tear inflammation to the person. And I, I think of that, there's a seminal, what I think is a really important German paper from a few years back where they showed with X-ray diffraction that 100% of post-mortem knee specimens, OA knee specimens, had crystals embedded in the cartilage. And you just have to think, what's happening later in the phenotype that might be driving inflammation that's different from earlier in the phenotype? And I've, I've never thought of a way to explore that or look at that. But given that much of our synovial histology comes from joint replacement oh. uh, synovium when there's plenty around to play with, we'd have to think that that may all be based on a sort of late disease mentality.